Hey, this is Kate from DailyTarotGirl.com, and this is your weekly tarot card reading. And I'm really excited to read with this deck. This is a new deck that I just picked up a few days ago. It's called Tarot of the Abyss by Anna Turain, and it is a really cool deck. I've done a few readings with it already, and I have just fallen in love with it and I have quite a few unboxing videos planned but I'm definitely going to include this one. All right so I'm going to begin by drawing three cards. Each card is going to represent a portion of the upcoming week and my intention is the same as always just to get some fresh ideas, inspiration and insights into the week ahead. All right, so let's begin with the first card. This card is gonna represent Monday and Tuesday of the upcoming week. And if you enjoy this video, I post them every week, usually on a Friday or a Saturday. So um, give me a like and a subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. All right, so here we have the Page of Pentacles for the beginning of the week. So Monday and Tuesday, we have the Page of Pentacles. And I'm just looking at this card. I haven't seen this card yet in a reading. Um, it looks like he's unearthing something and he's holding a key. Or let's have a look. Let's let's look a little bit closer here. Yeah, he's got a key and looks like he's discovering something and there's a guy in the background. So Page of Pentacles, pages are... Um, Pages are like the students of the tarot. They're in learning mode. They're figuring things out. And the suit of pentacles is the most physical suit. This has to do with the physical dimension of our day-to-day -day lives. So things to do with the physical body and physical health. Things to do with money, finances, the physical things you own, your home, your physical surroundings, all of that stuff. And it also has to do with getting grounded and really grounding your energy in three-dimensional reality as well as as other other dimensions like the emotional dimension and the spiritual dimension. So what does this card mean for us at the beginning of the week? I feel like this is like a surprise card. I feel like there's something that many of us will be discovering something delightful to be discovered this week, whether it happens at the beginning of the week or later on in the week, I don't know. For some of us, it might be the beginning of the week for some of us later on, but there's some kind of discovery that we make. Uh, I don't think it's anything major, but it's it's kind of like a, a mini aha moment um, and it feels really good. I think that this week, particularly in the beginning of the week, be patient with yourself. Um, you're really learning how to how to ground your energy. You're learning how to take care of your physical environment and your your physical body. This is a good time to uh, beginning of the week is a good time to check in with your body, see how you're feeling and ask, you know, what does my body need right now? How can I take care of my body uh, this week? What kinds of needs do I have, etc., etc. I feel like there's so much more to this card that I could go into, uh, but nothing else is coming to me. So I'm gonna, I'll leave it to you. Uh, if you have other ideas about this card, feel free to share in the comment section. Um, ha, yeah, I feel like one more thing I want to add about this card. I feel like for many of us, we're charting our own path when it comes to establishing a healthy relationship with our body and figuring out how to uh, connect or, or how to manage our finances and how to connect with that flow of abundance. I feel like many of us are kind of right now kind of in uncharted territory with what whatever it is that you're working on. And so it might feel a little ungrounding if you don't have a specific plan or a path forward. And if you can't look at anyone in your life and be like, oh, this is how this person did it. I'm going to follow this path. It's kind of like we're sort of charting our own course right now when it comes to uh, the physical realm. Let's look at 
the second card. This is the card for the middle of the week. So Wednesday and Thursday-ish. Ooh, Ace of Swords. All right. Beautiful. Okay. So we're moving right from the, the realm of pentacles into the world of swords. And swords have to do with the mind and the mental realm and the intellect, thoughts, beliefs, the way you think about things, the, the concepts that you hold in your mind, the stories that you tell yourself, the stories that you believe or don't believe. And the ace, because it's an ace, it symbolizes the beginning of this suit. It symbolizes new beginnings and a fresh start. And what I love about this card is her hair is like um, kind of the branches of a tree. And then there's things in those branches, which I think of as like thoughts and ideas and concepts and beliefs. And how you conceive of things, how you think about things and the thoughts that you have determines how you ground and root down into the earth, how you root down into reality. So there's this link between your thoughts and your physical reality. And thoughts are so powerful. Beliefs are powerful. They shape how we see things, the decisions we make, the actions that we take. So beliefs are really powerful. And with the Ace of Swords, I see an opportunity to um, turn over a new leaf when it comes to the relationship you have with your mind and thoughts and beliefs. So now is a good time to um, think about, uh, you know, what what do you believe in? What kinds of thoughts are you thinking? And if you're wanting to turn over some new habits in regards to your thoughts and the, the stories and the loops that you run through your mind, in the middle of the week is a good time to do this. This is also a good time to act on your ideas, pay attention to your ideas. Don't just, because sometimes you get an idea for something, you're like, oh, okay, that's cool. And then you forget about it. Ace of Swords is like, no, you got to be more, um, you, you got to ground those ideas into the physical reality. So write it down. If you have a great idea for something, write it down. Doesn't mean you have to pursue it, but get it on the page. Um, okay, let's look at card number three. This is for the end of the week. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And here we have 10 of cups. 10 of cups is a beautiful, lovely card. And this card shows a woman, she's got a baby on her back. Uh, she's holding someone's hand. There's a house in the distance. 10 of cups represents peacefulness, love, connection, dreams coming true. Just this feeling of having arrived, um, on an emotional level. So this is about emotional fulfillment, feeling like your heart is full, feeling like you have everything you possibly could want on an emotional kind of level. So what does it mean for us? What is the message that this card has for us this week? The weekend or the end of the week is a time to reflect. Ten of It's interesting, we have the Ace of Swords in the middle of the week, which is the beginning of a suit. And then the Ten of Cups, which is the culmination of the, the Suit of Cups. And the Suit of Cups has to do with emotion and feeling and relationships and empathy and uh, all that kind of stuff. This is the, the feeling emotional realm. And the Ten of Cups asks us to, I think, really practice gratitude and acknowledging um, the connections that we have and the ways in which we feel emotionally fulfilled, really acknowledging that. And when you acknowledge something, you allow the energy of that thing to expand. It gets a little bit bigger when you think about it and you acknowledge it. And I also feel like the Ten of Cups is a time for focusing on for, for everyone, it's going to look a little bit different. For some of us, it's a time to focus on family and our connections with our family and spending time with family. For some of us, this is a, this is a time to revel in contentedness, feeling content, feeling like you have all your ducks in a row and just that feeling of emotional fulfillment. So however you can 
can cultivate that feeling and focus on that feeling. Um, also, if you're feeling really unfulfilled emotionally, and this is where I'm going to pull in the wisdom of the Ace of Swords, if you're feeling unfulfilled right now and this card isn't really resonating with you, this weekend is a good time to write down, may, you know, journal about it, you know, what needs to happen in order for you to feel emotionally fulfilled. And what does emotional fulfillment feel like to you? Was there ever a time in your life where you felt, oh, everything's great. <laughs> I feel really emotionally uh, held, <laughs> really emotionally fulfilled. You know, what does it feel like in your body? What does it feel like for you? And, and, and keeping in mind that things don't have to be perfect for you to get to this place. So you can get to this feeling of emotional fulfillment and feeling content and gratitude, even if there's lots of things that aren't going right, even if there's things that haven't been completed or something you haven't achieved yet that shouldn't stop you from this feeling of love and connection and, and contentness, contentedness. Okay, so let's look at all three cards together. And oh goodness, I've been talking a lot. Just looked at the time. Okay, <laughs> let's connect all these cards. I love that we have a card from three different suits. So there's a beautiful energy, the grounded energy of the pentacles, the mental, uh, intellectual energy of the swords, and then the emotional um, uh, energy of the suit of cups. So just looking at these cards, um, I'm noticing, the thing I notice in all of them is what is rising up out of the earth. So we have a mountain in the background of the Page of Pentacles. I see that mountain is representing some sort of goal or something that you're wanting to tackle or achieve or overcome. And then with the Ace of Swords, we have her hair, which is the roots of the trees, which symbolizes reaching up into your mind, your thoughts, your intellect, the realm of inspiration and ideas. And then with the Ten of Cups, we have the rising sun. Or maybe it's a setting sun, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so we have we have something kind of rising up um, in all three cards. So looks like a great week. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this video helpful. I hope it gave you lots of ideas. You can check out my website, dailytarotgirl.com. I'll put the link below this video. I've got all kinds of fun tarot learning resources on there for you to check out. So thanks so much for watching and have a great week.